So welcome to our first game. I say these are terrible Christmas games. I think this one's probably going to live up to that. But uh, some of these might be good. But this one's called Kill the Santa. And yes, I spent about 25 bucks on all of these games uh, because I don't know why. Thank you, Elizarin, for finding these. Why did you find this? It doesn't. It doesn't matter. Oh God. Wait, am I sniping with a double barrel shotgun? Oh my god. The worst shooting since Starfield. Are you kidding me? Oh god, it's, it's doing the sniper elite thing. Now, Starfield's shooting is fine. That, that's the least of that game's problems. But, um, I'm not going to talk about that now. But Merry Christmas to anyone who got Starfield for Christmas. What is that creature in the sky? Shot the reindeer down. Um, there's no reload animation. This game is so cheap. There's no sound effects when you pulp Santa's brain. This feels like a game right out of 1999. God. Also, this is this is just infinite Santas. Santa's lungs and heart have been decimated. Chat, would you say this is mean-spirited? Carabiner? Harpoon? Assault rifle. Dragon. Isn't that like an SVT? Crossbow, sniper rifle, heavy sniper. Like, is anyone really gonna spend the amount of time needed to unlock these things? Oh god. Oh my god. Also, usually I have to lower my mouse sensitivity when I play shooters. This one has this, like, tiny, tiny mouse sensitivity. If you want to unlock that last weapon, it would probably take you... I'm, I'm gonna guess... I'm gonna guess seven hours. I, I think I'm done with this. Please aim a bit lower on the Santas. Wait, Josh, do you want to see me pulp Santa's balls? Is, is that what we haven't seen? All right. Let's see. Maybe it's real. I don't know if it's real or not. I don't think he has the jingle balls. Yeah, they don't even have a walking animation. You're telling me they're going to have testicles? I don't know about that, chat. Awful game. Oh my god, it's so bad. Oh, this one has a... That one has an animation. Chat, I might be able to get this one. Let me see your balls. No, Robocop! No, that's Santa! Let me smell your dick. I got him! I got him! 
Oh, it was real. I got an achievement for that. Santa balls. Santa's balls hit. That's what it says. So I guess that'll just forever be a blemish on my Steam profile. No problem. I think I'm going to try to go in order of bad games to good games. So maybe we can have like an evolution of like coal to actual presence. This one's called Adventures of a Snowboarder, and I'm not even sure if this is particularly Christmas-related. Oh. <laughs> Chat, you just saw all of the entertainment value of this game. In that one moment. <laughs> So there is a Christmas tree, there's fireworks. There is Minecrafter Steve, for some reason. This is being sold on Steam. You have, um... Like, cookie, bake, recipe, uh, royalty-free music. Ugh. Why are you playing a mobile ad? I don't know, it was a dollar. Uh, no. This is allowed on Steam when the day before was removed and everybody's getting refunds. <laughs> Vinny, you paid for this? Yeah. I suffer for the art. It was one dollar. However... There's a bundle. Oh my god, chat, chat. This developer has a bundle. And it is an amazing deal. It is a $648 value down to $42.28. Wow. I'd call that a bungle more than a bundle. Um, helicopter 2.0. There's, uh, okay, chat, this game is thir I- I cannot believe this. This is thirty dollars. Thirty dollars! It says Helicopter 2.0, but it says Buy Flappy Helicopter. Um, Corrupt Political Simulator. <laughs> That's another game here. It's uh, from 2017. You can tell by the graphics, a lot of work was put into this. Let's see what other games. Here's a okay. Oh, oh, oh alien game for forty four ninety nine. Forty four ninety nine. Chat. This should be cheaper than the Minecraft Steve game. And yeah, this whole thing, th there's games here that are, yeah, like, like here, Ragdoll Fall Simulator. At least the music was pretty all right. Um, and th this one's just called Idiot. Mixed reviews came out two years ago, nearly three years ago. It's just called Idiot. Why is there a cat in the water? <laughs> uh, 
okay. Anyway, we'll move back on to uh, the rest of the Christmas stuff, but I just need you to see the cover of this game. This is all a part of a bundle from Games for Games. And, yeah. Um, yeah, there's some really good-looking titles in there. Uh, so, yeah, excellent deal. Um, I was thinking about what game to play next, because like I said, some of these are going to be good, some of these are going to be kind of bad. Uh, maybe we could do Santa Slays Nazis? Yep, real game being sold on Steam, by the way. This game contains explicit scenes of Christmas cheer and joy. Okay, so Santa is sitting there like a Chad and has Miss Claus, I think that's Mrs. Claus, in his skimpy outfit. It's really, um, the UI is, is very, very advanced. Huh. Well, now look how good they look, wow. Dad, tell me another Christmas story. No, it's time for bed. Come on, Dad, please, just one more. All right, one more, then it's bedtime. Yes, we want to know uh, about Rudolph. No, night before Christmas. No. But Mom said you aren't allowed to tell me that story. Well, your mom doesn't need to know, so don't say anything or else we're both going to be knee-deep in reindeer sh poop. Okay, this is how Santa helped win World War II. Oh my god. That gun sounds like a pea shooter. You have to eat cookies when you take damage. I don't even know why I'm doing the tutorial for this. Only some objects reflect light. I see. We'll just, uh, we'll just keep moving. No, I mean, we're gonna play the game, I'm just not gonna do the tutorial. Put that cookie down! Put that cookie down. Put cookie down, put cookie down, put cookie down, put cookie down. It's one of Santa's elves. Here's the guns. These all look like modern Call of Duty skins. Can't wait to uh, unlock. Can't wait to unlock those. And and Counter Strike too, even. And I like Counter-Strike. Outpost Santa and Club Vixen? I, oh, love loading screens like this. Yeah, there's Nazi portals. I don't know if you knew about that. Wait a minute, this isn't Antarctica. Maybe it is. Wait a minute, I thought this was supposed to be World War II. Why am I using a, a weapon that is clearly not from World War II? Non-standard World War II. I watched a video about non-standard Simpsons, and it was wildly amusing. Illegal Simpsons.
Chat, this is fucking awful. This is bad. Like, I'm assuming that this is the intended speed of being able to destroy the portals. Which is to say, slow as shit. Oh, the portal has two health bars. Mm -hmm. Nice. Grenades over there, I can't even get them. Every time I shoot, I make money, though, at least. Like, that's the one thing. You just shoot and you make a couple bucks. Can I use this? Uh, he hello? Can I use this? Controls. Throw grenades G, weapon swap Q, crouch. Fine aim. I now have a grenade for some reason. Oh, the turret just works when you, you know, an enemy gets close to it. Oh, grenades don't work on the portal. Wow, the one thing that would have sped this up. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, man. Santa got back up from the dead just to punch that guy in the face. Why? Why is a revolver eighty-five thousand dollars? Santa's trusty sidearm. There's a sword too. The, na the Nazis are stooping real low this time. Stop those naughty boys from reaching the girls' dressing room and trashing it. If you fail, the elves of, of the North Pole will never have a good time again. <laughs> oh my god. They sunk to a new low. Oh, okay, I see. So this is the worst thing they've done. Got it. Why are there ninjas? WHY ARE THERE NINJAS?! I didn't know they had a, a ninja division. Love that camera. Love that camera. What? Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh my god! Oh. Holy shit! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Like, just straight up dynamite. Oh, oh my, oh my god. Why, why is this on Steam? I would imagine a lot of things just randomly slip through the cracks. I, again, there's ninjas. I, I get it, the Japanese were also in World War II, but why are there ninjas? I, I don't know anymore, chat. What I do know is that there is 
a candy cane cock on the wall. And this looks like a house flipper asset that one of us probably would have built. All right. That will be that for that game. Maybe now we can, you know, start moving into better games slightly. I don't know. Maybe there are better games. I'm not sure. Santa's Slippery Slope is next. Oh. Is this going to be about Santa's crippling cookie addiction? Sluppy duppy Sluppy duppy How do I play this? Oh. Hey Vinny, I'm a relatively new viewer, but I've had a thought in my head for a while now. I can't shake. I hope it doesn't offend you, but why do you sound and look like you're an AI-generated person? Cool chat message. It's not because... It's not because... It's not because I'm... I'm a... It is not because I am AI-generated. Okay, movement one. Movement two, okay. There's some kind of thing going on here. Move left analog stick. All right, backflips. Crouch in the air to spin faster, straighten out in the air to spin slower. I- okay, great. Santa looked like he going for a self-suck. See now, what did AI say that? I needed to do a backflip. No, I think Santa likes to ski with his crotch out. What game does this remind me of, chat? This reminds me of, of something. I mean, a couple different things, but what specifically? Line Rider, Trials, yes, Trials. can also have Santa land on his neck, which as you all know is the softest part of the human, and that's where you want to land. That's the place to land. I'm supposed to be doing backflips, but I forgot how to do that. <laughs> I mean, this is better than the previous games, I just, you know, it's not my kind of game, necessarily. And, uh... Do a backflip. Sant. Sant. Sant! Missed a present. Fuck. I want to watch his lifeless body descend down the mountain.
<laughs> I, like, I'm just... At this point, I think I'm maybe just trying to kill Santa in a number of creative ways. Because I certainly don't have grasp of the controls on how to do the, the proper front and back flips. And back shots. Santa back shots. That wasn't that bad. Who taught you that naughty word? Chat member. Tell chat member to stop teaching me naughty words. Like skibbity. Ah! Vin's obsession with heads and toilets continues. I, again, you can't really escape it, can you? Because just yesterday we were doing the Gmod vine sauce thing, and there was one in there. So, I mean, they're they're just always... They're just always going to be around. For, from now until the end of time, heads and toilets will be a part of our lives. And now I'm at a point where people keep sending me the skibbities they find. Like, Vinny, I was at a mall. I found a skibbity. I don't know how to make Santa flip. Flip! No! Oh. Oh, come on, Santa! Oh, that was a good one! Alright, I think we're done with this game. It's definitely better than the other ones. I do like watching Santa ragdoll, though. That, that There's some fun there. There's some fun. Ah. Hey, I made it to the end. I, why does Santa sound like, um, some kind of, like, Pokemon? <clears throat> this game is called Christmas Land. For some reason, it's trying to activate my VR. And I don't even think it's VR compatible. We want the best graphics possible. Emotional. The game is emotional. So I'm pretty sure this is going to get me um, DM DMCA'd. So I turned motion blur off. It, it's defaulting to a weird resolution. But I turned motion blur off, and it's still on. In fact, it's it's really intense. I'm going to turn the music down so maybe it won't get claimed. So you can still hear it. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the 
that's not even... Did none of the changes take, like, stick? Chat, none of these changes actually... Are, oh, I have to... I think I just have to hit apply. I thought I did. Cancel in six seconds. Why, why are they giving me a, a timer? Resolution is still... It's still not working. I don't even care anymore. I'm just going to see what this piece of shit game is. You have to hit apply at the top. I did I not do that? Apply, apply. Motion blur off. Apply. Motion blur off. Music down. Nice to see the game just disregards my options. What what is this creature? Why is this this creature here? It it's a remix of uh some kind of Christmas song. Well, it's obviously Frank Sinatra, but, you know. Oh, I'm just stuck in here now, and I have no way of fighting. And there's also, um... Yeah, there's also, like, indie product music as well. Press T? Chat, this is, like, next level terrible. You know how bad it is? WASD only works. But it works. S and D only work. Game just crashed. What? Good luck, soldier. Press B to throw donuts to the gingerbread men to destroy them. But the game doesn't work. I can't make this game work. WASD does not work. And there's no button on the controller that lets you throw donuts. Chat, this game is making me angry. It is making me angry. I think I hate this game. I hate everything about this game so much. Just asset flip clown. Asset flip horror clown. Press U to open the cheering wheel, which also does not work, mind you.
Merry Christmas. How much does this game cost? I don't know. I'll have to let you know. I, I have to look into it because I forgot. This might be the worst one of the night, actually, so far. There's people in underwear and like Speedos. They're fake Kratos, different art style, different art styles. Santa Claus real? I don't really know song. <laughs> Maybe Santa Claus is real. Maybe we will see him this night riding his magical sleigh. Hmm. I think he may have spent too much time at the pub. Maybe he is little boy. Maybe he is. <laughs> what? <laughs> What did I just witness? Maybe he is little boy. Maybe he is. And then there was like one frame of the child on, on the father's lap. And then it just ends. The scene just ends. I thought she was going to take a shit. I thought that's what that meant. Great game. Let's go ahead and take a nice shit on the floor. <laughs> Just random assets doing random things. Why are you snail trailing? <laughs> Chat member, don't, don't. What? What are you saying? But why are people in the snow in, in swimsuits? She's saying a dog? I mean, to me, it's just a, an astounding decision to make some of this work. Like, some of the controls work whoa, and some don't. Whoa there, oh. Rudolph. oh, my God. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs> Was the resolution different on Santa? In a world. Were a gamer come to play Christmas Land, will it be good? Probably. Will he waste his time? No. This Christmas is hot as hit. Find out what happened next time on Christmas Land 2. That doesn't sound like a real human, but I don't even fucking know anymore, chat. Hotus. Press G to throw snowballs to destroy the snowmen. <laughs> J. 
chat, this is like a Christmas flashbang. Pray? Use the pray emote. This- the wheel doesn't even work. Oh, you have to... And we're just gonna clip through our own arms and, and Robertsons. Someone in chat just said they crave a lobotomy. I think I understand. trying to pray. It won't let me pray. This is probably also claimed stuff. It's just... I don't think any of this is used with permission. <laughs> I just don't know. I don't know. Here, have a donut. Zombie land portal. It doesn't seem like anything's locked behind anything else. Well, actually, never mind. I think the snowmen have locked zombie land. No, never mind. You just jump. Yeah, yeah you can just jump. Excuse me, what? Millions of polygons. Okay, okay, okay. Stop opening a me stop opening a menu. Oh, I know why that's happening because W does not actually move me forward. It's just a different video game now. This is a different game. <laughs> Imagine someone just said, I look away for two seconds and this happens. is dead and still living. Also can't run. Can't change camera angle. Default Unreal Engine preset. Oh. Yeah, that makes sense. Someone just said, what a badass. Can't tell if Crash or... Oh. Oh, well, we're back here now. So many playable characters in this game. Just talking up here like normal people. Just, just talking like normal, normal people. Standing on tables and bushes, chairs. But who are you talking to? Anyone? No? No, 
Nope. Let's go ahead and it's fine to ruin Frank Sinatra too. That's fine. Just ruin Frank Sinatra, no problem. Oh, all right, chat. I think that's the end of this. Press P to switch to purple. I I I don't even know. I I don't even know what to say. That's one of the worst things I've played on Steam. I think ever. Holy shit. And we still have we still have a couple more, including American Christmas. Do you share Mike's absolute hate of Frank Sinatra? I don't. I don't. I wouldn't say he's my favorite artist of all time. He's most certainly not. But he, you know, it's got a good voice. There's some good songs. It's fine. Hate's a strong word. So this is, yeah, this is American Christmas, I guess. An elf named Tip came to me and gave me magic powers to go save Santa. This is another game with fucking wonky controller support. Yeah, you can use the controller, but in order to move left and right, you have to press... I'm not kidding, I shit you not. Up moves you to the right. So we're gonna go ahead and just stop that. Tip the elf. <laughs> Santa's been kidnapped by the dark wizard. Only you and your friends can save Santa. I've spread Christmas magic all over America to help you on your journey. You can uppercut enemies. What is this music? Like... There's like a Mega Man thing going on here, but it's also Mario. And it's just anxiety Christmas music. <laughs> Break cars? Barely Christmas. The Dark Wizard has put a curse on our town. <laughs> Remember, I, I spent a total of like 25 bucks on these games. Vinny, Yasunori Mitsuda composed the music for this game. I am General Gust. I am in Santa's army. How dare you speak to me like that? You're looking at it. You're the one in Santa's army. Earthlings that believe in Santa weaken the dark wizard's magic. <laughs> oh, oh! Thank God for that. Chat, you all need to believe in Santa. I'm gonna need you to believe in Santa real quick. If you could just do that, this we could stop this game from ever happening. Wow, an outsider has come to our world. Fascinating. <laughs> 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 
Mrs. Claus has brought me to life to help you save Santa. Quickly, child. Ch Quickly, child! Jump on my branches and then jump on that ledge and crawl to the window. Good luck, little one! Chet, this story is, like, going for a very serious approach, and I'm having a hard time taking it seriously. I think it's because of the music and the visuals, probably. And, like, it's a silly Christmas game, and there's a dark wizard. I, I want to believe it. I want to. I want to go go with it, and I want. I want to go on the journey that this game is trying to set up for me. But um, it's it's. I'm having difficulty doing so. Chat. It's really kind of not that much too. Oh, knives. It's not a fire rope. It's a knife rope. What if I told you those knives weren't because of the evil wizard? The dark wizard is watching your every move. Oh, that sucks. This looks like Hotel Mario. Beware, young girl, the world is a dangerous place. I mean, yes, compared to the other games I've played tonight, this is a, like a miracle of a video game. That last game, like, actually psychologically set me back three years. So I'll take anything. Is that a hint of a melody? Oh, there, there may be some melody in here somewhere. Pet shop. You can buy pets. They're very expensive, but you can buy them. Afternoon Doom. Heaven bless you all. There's a lot of story here. It's about the evil wizard and snow globes and stuff and magic. Damn. Kind of like this music a little bit, maybe. I don't know if it fits this game at all, but... I don't know what would fit this game. Just <laughs> Christmas depression. Hey, it's a real thing, I mean... Alright, I think I'm gonna move on. It's just, I just, I like here the music is actually kind of... Kind of okay here. Someone said it almost feels like Pilot Red Sun. Yes! That is what I was trying to figure out. If anything we got from this, it is that song. And I'm happy with that. So I guess we'll do something completely different, which is Christmas Apocalypse. And there's another, like, buff Santa and Booba Girl chat. So it's going to be one of those. And it is this song. I wonder if this has graphical settings that you can actually change. And it, like, works. Oh, 
cards? Don't get me started on the cards. There's a skill tree. Okay. I need um, mouse settings. Are there? Uh, yes. Probably want to just do ninety and ninety. <laughs> Is that a grand ping? Oh, chat, it's fucking vampire survivors. I don't know why Santa's killing zombies. I mean, this actually kind of could be cool if it was more Christmassy. It's just a <laughs> generic zombie game. Right in the jingle bells. Oh, you have to shoot those. This is a game someone plays on a TV show. Unfortunately, there was a glitch in the Matrix, and we ended up getting the game in real life. But yeah, I'm pretty sure they played this in, like, ER. But yeah, it's, it's, uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to kill that bird. Uh, it's, it's a very bare bones survival wave shooter with vampire survivor like progression. And the Christmas is barely here. Is it better than everything else I've played tonight? Yeah, probably. Just about. It's also fucking boring. It makes me want to play Risk of Rain 2. I keep thinking Santa's saying, Holy fuck! Christmas boars? Chad, I think we've seen it. I think we, we've seen it. We've seen the game. You get it. You earn stuff, you, you unlock things, and then you just keep shooting ad nauseum. There, there's not really much going on there. The Legend of Santa. This one requires a controller. Bringle. That's one of my many names. Attack the South Pole Troll. A perfect test flight time to head back. Let me just go ahead and lower that a little bit. Um, with that cookie munching loser out on a sleigh ride, it was all too easy to take over his workshop and make Mrs. Claus my prisoner. <laughs> now I'll make sure he never returns. Okay, we got a Mario 3 cannon. We got a Mega Man 2 rooftop scene. We've got a Zelda type theme and name. And it's also, yeah, it's Mario. Mario. It is Mario. Original power-up, too. Down to the animations, very original.
Yeah, this is this is Mario in Santa's outfit. I mean, he's shooting coal. I don't know if there's going to be other power-ups, like Mario Worlds and uh, Mario 3 had a lot of creative power-ups. So this could have some cool ones, right? Like Santa things, maybe maybe something related to Santa's milk. <laughs> Wait, no, I didn't mean it like that. Like he drinks milk and cookies. Because you're collecting cookies, maybe there's something <laughs> to do with milk! I don't know, chat! Jeez, chat's interpreting this milk thing in the weirdest possible way. It's a good thing I didn't mean it like that, because, you know, it's 100% not how I meant it, chat. Right? So this, this is Mario. This, this is definitely Mario. In all ways, and in no ways is it not Mario. Which makes it... Oh, well, it's a slightly different power-up. It's a candy cane. So this game, for originality, gets a 0 out of 10. For a Christmas theme, I'm going to give this a... 8 out of 10. It's pretty Christmassy. Down to the music, you got snowmen, there's ice, there's... Oh, Santa's in his underwear. I guess that's how you get the Santa milk. Um, the gameplay is Mario out of 10. I was wondering why Vinny was being hard on this, then I remembered it cost money. Oh yeah, no, this is being sold. Auto scroller. Wait, how do the power ups work? Because when you get coal, it's it's not like a mushroom into fire flower. You still have to like get Santa's clothes on. Do you remember that song I saw mommy kissing Santa Claus? Do you remember that? Yeah. What about it? Just asking if people remembered it. Someone said, yeah, that's a hot song. All right. It's not where I was going with that. So, <clears throat> when you're a kid, I think the interpretation is that, wait, that's weird, why is mommy kissing Santa Claus? And then as you get a little older, it's like, oh, that was daddy. And now, as an adult, I'm like, that was totally Santa Claus. That was like an old buff Santa, like, breaking through the window and his glistening pecs. And Santa milk. Were really, like, just, just too, too hot to handle. Anyway, uh, let's just pretend I didn't say any of that. Those are just Super Mario World backgrounds. Yep. Yeah, they just took textures away from them. No, I mean, make no mistake, a good- that, that's a wiggler. Uh, a good chunk of the things you see in this game is re-sprited from the original sprite. Oh, Pokey, not Wiggler. Sorry, I apologize. Yes, Pokey. I mean, the levels are pretty basic. It's only World 1. Maybe, maybe there's more better levels later? I don't, I don't know. But, um... I was hoping that if you're gonna do a Mario clone, you could do some really unique things with the concept. There's not really a lot of unique stuff happening here. It's fine. You know... 
If you like Santa Claus and you like Mario, <laughs> well... Ah! Boy, have I got the game for you. Get to the troll. I'm, I'm gonna try, but, um... Johnny, when you, um, if you're watching or, you know, whenever you watch, please let me know how many claims you get on this. Because I have a feeling a good chunk of this music is copyright claims. Oh, Johnny's here. Hey, Johnny. Hey, Johnny. I feel like this game and that one terrible game from the worst one, the, the one that was aggravating me, whatever the name of that one was, that one probably is going to get claimed. This one's probably going to get claimed. Vinny, I rap over the Legend of Santa OST. You're fucked. You deserve it. You know what? For this, if you did that, I would actually give you, like, props for that, because... Like, that's- that's how you do it. Oh. But yeah, it does make me wonder how much of this was used with permission. This is Silent Night, but, like, in a minor key. And epic. Sleep in peace. Damn it, always! I'm just impatient. Alright, I get it. That's Wario, by the way. That, that's, that's Wario. Okay. Alright. Filtered by the troll castle. Real careful this time. Chat, what if the game is over after the troll castle? It might be. I don't I don't even know how much this one cost me. Some weird hitbox stuff going on here, chat. Best for what is ostensibly not very much of anything happening. That it actually was the whole game. <laughs> that was it. Oh man. Yes, she mentioned that you don't have any clothes. Those special dialogue because you were almost naked. It's really cool.
Oh, oh. oh no. Oh no. We may not be able to see this one. Alright, hang on a second. I'm trying to do some... Steam page says there are 12 levels, so I think there are two more worlds somewhere. Okay. This one's called Santa Claus in Trouble. And apparently this is a game from like 2002 that was then turned into an HD Steam version. And it has that 2002 charm. Oh, oh. oh. This may be the best one of the night, chat. And, uh... I mean, it's a, the camera's a little bit fucked. Because it's just so sensitive. It's overly sensitive. But, uh, yeah, I mean, it definitely looks like a platformer from the early 2000s. Just made slightly better. Ross played this years ago? Vinny missed a secret already. Oh, yeah. I think, yeah, it's just a very basic collect-a-thon with some not great camera work. Uh, wor easily the worst part of this. But the visuals are, are really great, actually, I, I would say. And it has the Christmas spirit, so th that's got to count for something. And again, I would play this any day over... Oh, that's a dick platform. Um like in Mario 3D World, uh, over some of the other ones I played tonight. This one actually has some, like, I don't know, has some charm and some production value, and it's, uh, it's fine. If only there was a way to actually control the camera. I also don't think you can, um hit these enemies, which I think are, like, goblins. They're, they're, like, sleepy goblins. Which is a shame, because Santa has a big sack, and he could use that. He could probably just rub his, um... He could just hit the goblins in the face. There's gotta be some, like... I don't know, toy cars in there. Uh, toy cars? What? Hey, how you doing? It's me, Jay Leno. There's a picture of Jay Leno in a cyber truck, and he looks like he's about to be raptured. Like, he just... Uh, <laughs> his face in the picture is awful. Well, uh, getting kind of bored already. I think I missed a secret up there. I do want to get the last presents on this level, or at least as many as I can. How many personalities live in your mind? I can figure Gray Leno and Mr. Dink. And Gray Dink and Mr. Leno. Watto's in there somewhere, too. That $1,500, like, life-sized Watto statue... I, like I said, I heavily considered it. I fucking considered it. <laughs> but that's a really, really bad... Listen. Unfortunately, I lost a little bit of money this year because of that fucking Second City Prince fiasco with the Redbox merch. So I'm paying for someone else's greedy mistakes. 
and uh, I don't think I have the money to spend. I mean, I save, but I'm not going to be waddling it up for $1,500. <laughs> so you can thank the owner of Second City Prints for me not having Watto as of this recording. I'm fine. Chat, I'm fine. I'm fine. It's just, I, I, I like to complain a little bit about stupid people that make stupid decisions. And, um, that would have been me if I bought Watto. <laughs> anyway, this game is kind of boring. Um, it's fine. If I played this as, as a kid, I probably would have some nostalgia for it. It's perfectly playable. The camera is a little nauseating. There's really not much to it. But, but, it is better than most of the other games tonight. So that game is four dollars which isn't bad it's on sale for four the legend of santa was two dollars which i mean okay christmas apocalypse was five dollars which is honestly a little much that's the vampire survivor one american christmas was 99 cents which is actually a good deal for a game like that um the worst game of the night christmas land opposite worlds was one dollar, which is fine. Again, that's okay. Uh, it's probably they should pay you a dollar to play it, but I don't feel too bad that I spent that money on there. Santa's Slippery Slope was three fifty, which seems fair for a game like that. Santa Slays Nazis is six fifty, and you will definitely be right if you're guessing I'm going to get a refund on that one. The Adventures of a Snowboarder game with Minecraft Steve was 99 cents, as I said, but that is normally a um, $10 game. And Kill the Santa is 99 cents, so if you add it all up, it's about 22 to 25 bucks, whatever. Crazy. Um, we're going to take a break, and then I'm going to do the randomizer run of Link to the Past, everybody. So, if you stick around for just a couple minutes you will in fact get some uh randomizer for link to the past which should be which should be good and i'm going to get a little bit of amaretto but it's not going to be that much so give me just a couple minutes i'm not even going to play a copyright song for this one i'm just going to do something um here this will work be right back <laughs> 